Your oven is a liar. Let me explain. When you spin the knob to set the temperature on your oven, you might think that's the cooking temperature of your food. Surprisingly, this is not true. The real cooking temperature is the surface temperature of your food, and it's about as predictable as a roulette wheel. Okay, yeah, let's back up a bit. Your food is mostly water with a bunch of stuff mixed into it. And as it heats up in the oven, that water evaporates from the surface. And as it does, it cools the surface of the food. And therein lies the problem of trying to do low temperature roasting in your oven. The temperature of the food is gonna be much lower than the oven itself. And this is the challenge of getting consistent results when roasting. The true cooking temperature your food experiences is the surface temperature, and it varies a lot, no matter what the oven says the temperature is. But I do have a simple technique that allows you to get sous vide-like results from any oven with nothing fancier than a simple probe-style digital thermometer. The technique of surface temperature cooking is pretty simple. You do need a digital thermometer that's probe style, and I've got these really fine thermocouple tips, which are great, but whatever you have is gonna work. You wanna slip this about a quarter of an inch beneath the surface of the food, and then you wanna pay attention to the surface temperature of the food as it cooks. Now, you can start the oven out at a pretty high temperature. I typically do 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's because it takes a while for the surface to come up from refrigerator temperature and steady out. As it does come up to temperature and gets near the desired doneness I have for food, say 129 degrees for medium rare, I'm gonna turn the oven way down, maybe to 225 degrees Fahrenheit so that I don't overshoot and get the surface too hot. And then you just wait. You wait for the core temperature to come up to the surface temperature. Now, my thermometer has room for two probes so I can keep track of the core and the surface temperature at the same time. If you don't have that, you might periodically need to take your probe out of the surface and stick it into the core to check the temperature. But I think the payoff is worth it. You get an edge-to-edge, -edge, perfectly roast piece of food, just like you would expect from sous vide. And just before I'm ready to serve the food, I'll put that roast back into the oven, let it sear for four or five minutes to really crisp up that surface, and then I'm done. A perfect roast. Give it a try and let me know what you think. If you like this video, if you're a curious cook like me who likes the science of cooking, please click subscribe below and click the link in the description. You can uh, join my email list at combustion.inc where I'm gonna be providing recipes, more tips and tricks, and more of this kind of content. Thanks for watching.